And now it is time to kick off a series that we are running all this week to get ready for Thanksgiving. We call this our Sunrise Viewers Thanksgiving Recipe Series. So we have five viewers sharing five recipes over the next five mornings and it starts right here with a trip to Damascus to visit a viewer named Jen. There's Jen answering the door. <laughs> Jen putting together what I consider to be the perfect beginning to our week long Thanksgiving feast. Take a look at this for starters. This is why we are here because Jen is showing us how she makes her charcuterie boards. I'm gonna call this sort of like the lead off hitter in your Thanksgiving feast. It looks amazing. I can't wait to eat some of the food on this board, but we're really here to learn how to build one. What I like to start with is building the cheese. So I'll place the cheese in various sections of the board, and then that kind of gives me my blank canvas to start filling in the other areas with all the other things that we have. Usually I try to use at least four different types. I'll use like different soft cheeses, something more sharp, maybe like a Gouda or something that's um, less common, but somebody's gonna be really excited that there's a unique cheese on the board. So I try to give a lot of variety. Jen, I'm gonna bring the, uh, the big board over, if you will. I know eventually we're gonna talk about the meats on the board. I'm very curious about the uh, salami there that <laughs> Eric's zooming in on. How the heck did you make that salami look like a rose? We're gonna use a small glass. You can use like a champagne glass or a juice cup. And we wrap the salami over the edges, several pieces, like 15 pieces over the edges. And then you dump the cup upside down and let it rest for a while while it holds its shape. We've got our cheeses, we've got meats, we've got crackers, we've got vegetables. What foods are we missing? We are gonna add nuts, sweets, fruit, and olives. Something I have noticed though, Jen, on the big board, the original board, mm -hmm. you have some pieces of cheese. Yes, yeah. cheese, I know it's cheese, because it tastes like cheese. <laughs> How'd you make your cheese look so cute and fun? I used a cookie stamp. It's like a cookie cutter with a little stamp inside of it. So you just need to find a cheese that you can stamp into that holds its shape, press it, and then lift it off. So now it comes down to the finishing touches. What do you have to wrap things up? I have some rosemary, some little flowers, and some glaze. And now it's time to eat. Great, please, Jen, if you would. <laughs> cheese, Jen, please. Meat, please, Jen. Oh, it's a big meat. Big piece of meat, let's go, let's do it. Whole thing. Yes. Wonderful. Man. Now roll over and play dead, Rover. <laughs> uh, I loved watching that, or actually I loved watching you all watch that because I had seen it before, I was there. Yeah. But uh, the oohs and the ahs and the, oh wow, it was so many, there were so many different cool things. We only highlighted two really, the rose made out of salami uh -huh. yeah. and the little cheese stamp thing that oh, makes yeah. those designs. Wow. And then you were wondering, geez, how long did that take? Yeah. Well, listen, they weren't going to give us overtime pay that day to be there. <laughs> and Jen whipped it up pretty quickly. I mean, it was under an hour. And we were kind of stopping really? her now and then to, to film certain yeah, things, yeah. but really well done. And here's the best news, gang. Tell me. She's bringing one of those boards into the studio next yes. hour. Yes! So we will Bravo. eat the feast and we'll have more details on how to make it. But right now you can check out my Facebook page. Uh, Rod posted, or I should say pinned to the top of that page. You will find the complete, how do you make one of those, provided by viewer Jen. There she is, and her recipe is right tagged along with that post. Well yes. done. This morning, we are also kicking off a series that will run all of this week here in the Sunrise Show to get us ready for the Thanksgiving holiday. It is our Sunrise Viewers Thanksgiving Recipes Series. So we have five viewers sharing five recipes over the next five mornings, and it begins right here in Damascus at the home of a viewer named Jen. Last hour, we took you inside Jen's kitchen where she walked us through the process of putting together the perfect start to your Thanksgiving feast. This is viewer Jen's charcuterie board. And this is viewer Jen live in our studio on this Monday morning. Jen, high five. Viewer high five, this is a great, I mean, look at this thing. As Jay behind the camera there gets even closer to your charcuterie <laughs> board. It's a work of art that also doubles up as a meal. <laughs> and truth be told, if I was to come to your house for Thanksgiving, which yep. you haven't invited me. You can. Oh, that's nice of you, thank you. <laughs> I feel like I invited myself now, but that's okay. If I was to come to your house for Thanksgiving and this was there when I walked in, there would be no turkey. <laughs> I mean, good. I would fill myself up with this. Yeah. Uh, we should slide over. Christine is watching, Rod's watching. Brenda, I know you're busy, but if you have time, anyone who wants to come over, please oh, do. 100%, you kidding Look me? Look at the board, We're observe not the board. This. <laughs> Rod's something, running. <laughs> pick something off the board oh. in a moment, as, I, as I continue this Ooh. conversation with Jen. Oh, so Jen, uh, the big question yeah. someone had here our staff was, geez, how long does it take, Jen, to put something together like this? 
I mean, start to finish. Okay, so probably a solid hour. Which isn't too bad, in my opinion. I mean, I, I, if you told me three days, I would have believed you. <laughs> uh, last hour, we walked people through the process in your kitchen. We had yes. that great video, right? And I think we have some more video of the process that we can show as well again here. Uh, you told me that you really start with, because I looked at this and go, I wouldn't know where to start. Yeah. You said you start with the cheese. Why yeah. do you go with the cheese first? I think it's just a good building block, and it's nice to figure out the texture and the levels and stuff with it, and then you can just kind of squish stuff around it. I feel like since my friends have their faces full of food now, I'll continue yeah. the conversation here. Um, full disclosure, gang, a couple of things I want to reveal here. Yeah. Number one, uh, Jen on the show this morning, but not new to the show. Mm -hmm. I first met Jen, we figured out, back in 2005. So that mm -hmm. is uh, 17 years ago, my friend. Yes. Wow. Uh, Jen is the founding member of the AWOL dance group that we've featured yes, on the show many absolutely. times. That's the dance group that uh, dances amongst the trees at Mary S. Young Park in mm -hmm. West Lynn every year. So that's how we met. Oh, yeah, yeah that's crazy. Crazy, by the way, I've seen the video. <laughs> <laughs> Let's focus on the food. Back to the food. Uh, but you sent me this. You're like, hey, Drew, could I be on your show? Yeah. Would this would this count as a recipe? I said, you're darn right it would. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. this is a great start. So, Brenda, Christine, Rod, in any order, mm -hmm. what did you grab? And uh, tell me what you experienced off the board here mm. this morning. Mm. A nice salty, yummy prosciutto. Oh, that's good. And a yes. country. Mm. Uh, Mm -hmm. oh. Christine, what you grab? I want to know what kind of cheese this is. It has like a purple rind to it. Oh, that, that Gary. This that one right here. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It has a little bit of a fruity, almost. Yeah, I, I can't mm. remember the name of it. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking. So sorry. <laughs> oh, you on the hey, spot. <laughs> Rod, as you grab the food without a toothpick, uh, oh, maybe, I you, did maybe too. you have a question for Jen that she <laughs> well, can't there answer. There are toothpicks. Do you well, have a question excited. for Jen that she won't know the answer to? Do you ever use figs? Do you ever put figs out on your? Yes, you do. I love figs, and that would be perfect for a Thanksgiving board. Okay. All right. The other thing I want to talk about is the fact that mm. this is uh, this is something that's actually really popular right now on mm -hmm. the social medias. It is. Uh, you didn't create the idea of a charcuterie <laughs> no. board. No kidding. Uh, but when did you start basically building things like this? Because you have taken it to another level. Yeah. Well, a nice crossover. A couple summers ago, I started making them for pre-order for our show in the trees okay. for our audience. Okay. For the AWOL group. Yeah. Uh, and now I've noticed that uh, you're not dancing as much. Now you're doing some other things there at your Damascus home. So I'm yes. going to give you a brief second here, in fact, at least 30, to explain what you're doing now at your home. Okay, well, I started out as a dietitian nutritionist, and then I kind of went into my dance career. Mm -hmm. And now um, I've returned to those roots because we moved out to some property, and I wanted to start homesteading and teaching other people how to live healthy. Oh, cool. So I'm doing health coaching and teaching like classes like charcuterie making and wreath making and gardening. Where is the website where people mm -hmm. can find more information about all of that? Well. That is at livinthegoodlife.com, L-I-V-E-N, mm -hmm. like my Love name. That. Yeah, Love her that. last name, by the way, is Living Good. Oh. It's her married name. Jen oh, really? Living Good. Oh. So Living Good. Yes. yes. That's crazy. Living Good. I've never heard that last <laughs> name. Can I show you another uh, thing That's that you'll amazing. find online? Yeah. On my KGW mm -hmm. TV Facebook page, as well as my Instagram page, by the way, you will find the recipe that Jen put together on how to build the perfect board. So, Rod, yeah. you have to leave us now to go talk about the weather. But again, if you going. want to do this yourself, Jen spelled it all mm -hmm. out in easy to follow instructions on my Facebook and Instagram pages. Well done. Mm. Awesome job, Mama. Jen. Awesome <laughs> job. Way to kick off the week, Rod. Yeah.